Brad Hudspeth's journey to Paris started before he made the team. It really began when he severely injured his spine at 15 years old. I'm KSHP 41 News reporter Olivia Acre with his story and his road to Paris. Brad Hudspeth has been training for the better part of a decade to wear the hat that reads Team USA. You get four years of told no, you're not good enough, and then work hard, train, and then finally make it. His road to Paris started when he was just a teenager. So I broke my neck when I was 15, diving into shallow water, and uh, became a C5, C6 incomplete spinal cord injury. After his accident, he received no after no from Team USA as he tried to take his hobby to the professional level. The goal was always to make Team USA. And then uh, after making Team USA, the goal was to make the Paralympic team. He says his wife and kids kept him going. There was times where he would say, maybe I just throw in the towel. And I'm like, you cannot stop now. You're the closest that you've ever been. Keep going. A good form, honey. Yeah. He's proved he's ready for Paris, and he's ready for Team USA to get their number one ranking back in world wheelchair rugby. Team Australia moved into the number one spot after the last tournament. The USA has been number one for, for many, many years, so every tournament we go to, there's always a, a target on our back, and everybody wants to play their best against us. But with his wife and kids watching from the Paris arena, Hudspeth says the team will give it their all. A little more intensity around it, knowing that, that you're going to the Paralympics and trying to bring home a gold medal. In Kansas City, Olivia Acre, KSHP 41 News.